2017 Hoppo Columbia Cup Heat 3B. Trucking, J. Michael Kelly. Oh, and he was headed for the course marker. He had a hard left hand turn. The U1, Home Street Bank, Miss Madison, Jimmy Shane. Oh, he did. He cut underneath you. He's on the light course, cutting underneath, coming on the front chute, same time as you. We're inside 3.30. The U440, Mack Truck Repair, Dustin Eccles. Dead on on that. That's exactly what happened to uh, Dustin Eccles. He popped it loose, got up. You might cut under you here. First marker. And that's the one that if you go outside that one, there's somebody waiting at your dock when you come back, and you better have your checkbook ready. That gets a little expensive, but he's up oh. and he's running now. He's fine. Look at the little Jimmy deck house game and, going already. Jimmy and J. Michael cutting to the back stretch through the Esco Electric infield. And these two have some history, so this ought to be exciting to see these two guys going at it. Two minutes and 35. Still one rooster tail back from you. Coming up on 2 minutes 30 seconds. So on the back stretch now, it is the 12 in the bright red Graham trucking with J. Michael Kelly. Coming up close to our turn 3 in our four corner super speedway. Bottom end of the course now, the 440 is going to jump from front stretch to back stretch. And that would be the bucketless race team with Dustin Eccles. Jimmy Shane is going to cut across the infield while J. Michael Kelly goes around and turns three. He's picked up his. You picked up yours. He has not established lane yet. He has not established lane. One buoy passed. Go ahead, and I think you're at five boat lengths. Now he's two buoys back. There you go. All right. Whoa, now that was an interesting maneuver. And then he jumped over yeah. into lane number one after getting ahead of Jimmy Shane in the one home street. How big of a lead did he have? It was right there at the start finish. What did you think? I don't know. You know, seven, eight boat lengths. They're telling the 12 to pick up the speed. 136. This is interesting. Remember, you can't be down here at 30, at 130, and it's 140. Where's the 440? Can I go deep? You can go deep. Yeah, he's... Uh... He's still on the straightaway here. You're fine. Pick it up, and he is picking it up, so he's going to do something interesting. Shane instead is going to go the other route. He's going to go way, way wide to kill Smith. We're going to go cut, cut, because you're at 114. We got, uh, that's a lot of time to burn, but I don't think we can do it. Because he looks slower than he did when he was getting the warning. I don't think that's going to be a penalty. Of the back stretch. I, he had the right away on the course from the start finish line and I'm thinking he may be cutting across the infield and he yeah. will oh, and yeah. he will and Jimmy Shane cut to the lane number one allowed uh, J. Michael Kelly to get way out in front was able to get into lane one and is now just going to sit there and make J. Michael yeah. Kelly go all the way and back he around. just did a circle a yeah. small 40 circle seconds. Right I can update you by the way they've assessed a one minute penalty to the 12 a one minute penalty for the 12. And that's for encroachment, not speed. That's that little incident at start finish line last time. He jumped over into lane number one and had not provided enough room for the one with Home Street Bank and Jimmy Shane. asking the one to pick it up as well. Yeah. Well, if the one gets a penalty too, we've got something <laughs> a little different. Yeah, that's no that goals. 15. 15 seconds. 12, 11. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Now, now. And it's the Home Street Bank on the inside with Jimmy Shane, the one. Six. And the 12, Graham four, Trucking with J. Michael three, Kelly in lane two, number two. Eccles one, is in mark. lane number three, actually way outside. Here's the mark. It's a clean start. 
on heat 3B from Atomic Screen Pitting with Shane leading on the inside, coming down the front stretch. Yeah, they're coming down here side by side. Jimmy Shane is out front by about two boat lengths. J. Michael Kelly, Kelly flying with a lot of air into the boat all the way down the straightaway, and he's taking some big hops. Tony, he comes to you. And he is. It's Jimmy Shane out of the exit. Separate. Get out of there. Watch your life. Get down here. Some sort of RPM to get him going and try to chase down that blue and white boat. Well, it's Miss Home Street in the lead, heading down the back stretch with Jimmy Shane. And within the rooster tail there, I'd say about seven boat lengths lead, coming up the back stretch for Shane over J. Michael Kelly in the Graham Trucking. So Jimmy Shane dives in to turn number three. You pull in auto parts, wall of water off the skid fin, a half a rooster tail back on the outside is J. Michael Kelly in the Graham Trucking 12. To the exit pin, Buffalo Brothers turn number four. Shane with a half a rooster tail lead as they come down the front stretch. J. Michael Kelly went through a little bit of rough water at the exit pin. He's flying that boat down the front stretch, but J. Michael Kelly's gonna have a tough time bringing Shane back to him. Yeah, Shane's opening up water right now. He's coming down here with almost the full rooster tail, and JMK is really flying the red boat. Shane to the entrance pin in the corner now. Kelly to the entrance pin now. That's the difference. Tony, it's almost a rooster tail. And it is getting a little bit choppy down here as J. Michael Kelly is trying to find something a little bit extra as he gets out of the exit pin safely. But it is J. Nice turn again. Nice job, Mike. Nearly two. The 440 Bucket Lives Racing now completing lap number one coming across the start finish line. And we need to talk about how many points Eccles is going to get with the penalty assessed to J. Michael Kelly. This is a big race if he can finish. It's a big race if he can finish, but if Kelly were to get around him, except we're talking, uh, well, we'll check all that later, one minute penalty, you can, then you're going to have to work on the times. But you're right, at worst case scenario, he's 225 points here. Eccles is coming into the lower corner, leader's coming to you. Yep, it's over a rooster tail lead now for Jimmy Shane in the home street across the start finish line now. J. Michael Kelly, Graham trucking now at the start finish line for Griggs Ace Hardware. Just over a rooster tail lead, it's Jimmy Shane in the lead. And they're catching up to the 440 here. That Got a rooster tail on him still. Next row. Well, the 440 is out way out wide in lane number six, but it is Jimmy Shane out of the exit pit first. He's in lane one. Lane number two will be the 12 of the Grand Trucking, and it is now extended out to at least three rooster tails as Jimmy Shane down the back stretch. Jimmy Shane coming up the back stretch, and he's going to reel in the 440 and pass him. Easy, bud. Just getting her in the show. Nice job. Right now, passes him on the back stretch. Eccles is way on the outside of the U440. Jimmy Shane into U Pullin Auto Parts turn number three in our four corner super speedway. Coming around into Buffalo Brothers turn number four. J. Michael Kelly, rooster tail and a half behind him coming out of turn number four. J. Michael's flying the Graham trucking boat. It's a nice ride, but it is not a ride that is going to be able to catch up with Jimmy Shane as walking back and forth on the spot since. Graham Trucking 12 across the start finish line, and here comes Jimmy Shane already into turn number one at the bottom end of the course. Oh, we had a spin up at the upper yeah. end, Eccles! Oh, hey, the uh, 441 is hooked up here again. You're gonna have to go a little wide out of this corner. Do I have room to go wide on St. Michael? Yes, just exit that corner in about lane three. You should miss him. Eccles is currently in lane number two. Yeah, he's in a bad spot. As they will come around the top end of the course, we don't have a black flag out on the course. Jimmy Shane coming up the back stretch with a rooster tail and a half lead over J. Michael Kelly in the 12. So Shane into turn number three, and we'll watch how tight it gets here with the 440 in lane number two in between the exit pit of turn four and the start finish line. Shane is gonna come way out wide. J. Michael Kelly's gonna come out even wider. They know the orange boat is in their path and they pass safely on the outside. Jimmy Shane across the start finish line now for the white flag lap and here comes J. Michael Kelly in lane number six way outside and now they're uh, actually slowing down down the front stretch as the checkered flag is out. Okay, well, Eccles has the hatch popped. He just, uh, he was, as you mentioned, Michael, he was trying to stay wide of the traffic and he was out in lane number four and he took that uh, turn four and uh, was swung a little bit too wide, overcorrected, and there he had the spin out and he is actually facing due west, which is the wrong direction, but the hatch is popped right now on the 440. 